2017 has been a dramatic year for some high-profile player caddy partnerships. In June, Jim Bones Mackay and Phil Mickelson parted after 25 years and five major titles together. Then, after the Open Championship, Rory McIlroy split with J.P. Fitzgerald, who was on his bag for all four of his major wins. We caught up with Bones at Royal Birkdale as he adapted to a new role as an on-course reporter. I got a lot to learn. Uh, I've made, you know, some mechanical errors and, you know, trial by fire, as they say. But uh, it's been a lot of fun. The, the team's been really, really supportive. But uh, I, I got to do some homework. Hopefully I can break down maybe some of the player caddy conversations and, and maybe look at the, the play from the caddy's perspective and maybe, you know, at times what he's trying to protect his player from, things along those lines, and uh, maybe shed some light on the player personalities as well. Bones witnessed another example of the importance of the player caddy relationship at first hand at the Open as Jordan Spieth leaned on Michael Greller to cope with the ups and downs of a turbulent final round. There's a ton of mutual respect there, and these guys are driven. They're not out here to finish second. You know, Jordan's got this uh, amazing grit and heart, and Michael knows that. And uh, it's his job, you know, to kind of take Jordan's temperature each day to see how he's doing, walking off the tee, and things that uh, Michael may need to address out there as the day goes on. And obviously, Michael's not hitting any of the shots, but he's got an incredibly important role with what Jordan's got going on. I've said, and I will say going forward, he's got the highest golf IQ in the game. And there are a lot of golfers with very high golf IQs, but Jordan's is maybe a couple of points higher. He's, uh, he can break things down, and uh, he's an incredibly intelligent kid and wise beyond his years. Spieth's exceptional golfing IQ was put to the test on the 13th hole at Birkdale, while Grella's familiarity with his player's game helped him recover from that wild drive and refocus on winning the Claret Jug teaching 30, 12 year olds uh, for 10 years prepared me for Jordan Spieth. You know, he's very animated. I'd like to think I encourage him and, and keep him believing him in himself. Uh, being a teacher for 10 years, you know, the biggest thing is, you know, getting kids to believe in themselves. So I know his whole friend group and his family and um, it's comfortable in that sense. So there's just, you know, a lot of chemistry on the course and off the course. While theirs is a chemistry that continues to work, for Team McElroy, the time had come for a change. When Rory spoke about his split with J.P. Fitzgerald after their nine years together, he was well aware of the debt he owed his former caddy. It's a big change. Um, J.P. has been a huge part of my life for the last decade. You know, we, we started in July 2008 um, and went all the way up until Ju July this year. A lot of great times on and off the golf course. I mean, I still consider JP one of my best friends, one of my closest friends. Um, but sometimes to preserve a personal relationship, you might have to sacrifice a professional one. And that was sort of the decision that I, that I came to in the end. With Rory, um, I just think he, he needs a new face. He needs a new voice. He needs a new companion out there. Um, and I think what he's looking for is just comfort level. Rory doesn't need somebody to tell him how to play a golf course. And the man's won four major championships. He's one of the best players in the world. He could go down as one of the best players of all time. He doesn't need to be told what to do on a golf course. He just needs that little extra boost of confidence from his man. And I just think he's going to take his time. Whoever replaces JP, um, I don't think he's going to go through a lot. I think he'll settle on somebody and stay with him for a long time, hopefully as long as he did with JP. Um, but with Rory, he, he just likes to be comfortable. And in his crazy world, where he's got so many things going on, to be able to escape inside the ropes is what he's looking for, and that, so he needs that comfortable companion. With players of Rory's stature, they're never looking short term. I think they're always looking long term. Rory may not admit it, but I think Rory is forevermore looking at the Masters until he wins that and completes his career slam. So everything he's going to be doing from here on out subconsciously is going to be with getting that last major, that last piece of his career grand slam completed. Rory might be the one hitting the shots, but like any top player, 
if he is to add to that major collection, having the right caddy will be crucial.